Hi guys, Spinifex left hand here. Got the combined efforts of six or seven hunts on the beach. As you can see, there's those six 303 cartridges, all live, unfired. Dates on them, 1942 and 1943. Always a little bit disconcerting when you dig live ammunition, but I guess with time, I don't know, do they become more stable or do they start to degrade? I mean, common sense would tell you that they probably degrade, but um, you know, a little bit of moisture in the powder, perhaps the cap degrades a bit. I sort of feel that they're okay to dig so long as you don't perhaps hit them directly. Um, mind you, could be wrong. If I've only got nine fingers left the next time we talk, you know I was wrong. Always dig plenty of lead at the beach and I must have kilograms of that stuff now, but I'm happy to dig it been doing really well on the one and two dollar coins. In fact I've done dug more two dollar coins than any other denomination. Um, they hit really hard on the AT Pro. Um, ring up at a strong 76. Same with the one dollar coins, about the same value. I don't cherry pick them. I still continue to dig in all metal mode and continue to dig most targets. I guess it's the beauty about the Australian currency. Um, the kill rate for um, coins dug to dollar value is really high in this country. There's um, 75 coins there for a dollar value of $55. So um, that's a really high um, ratio. I don't think our friends in the States would get that. I think for every 75 coins they dug, uh, without discriminating, they'd be lucky to make 4 or $5. This find here I really enjoyed, the paper one there. Got a, again a strong coin signal on the beach, rung up at a 76. Um, first scoop in the sand, flipped out that bit of paper, uh, rechecked the hole, nothing. Kicked the bit of paper with my foot and realised that it had a bit of weight to it. So I opened it up and there inside $2.40. And in fact, that's a supermarket receipt from Cooktown. Seems that the person bought some fresh beans, cost $2.60, amount tendered, $5, change $2.40. And that's it right there. So I guess I ended up with everything except the fresh beans. And then a couple of Australian two cent coins, they've been out of circulation since uh, the early 90s. And there's an English penny there found on the beach. That's a long way from home. This one is a thousand Indonesian rupiah. Not so far away from home. Other than that, a little bit of junk jewellery. Kid's ring, a broken earring. And Mrs Spinifex found this butterfly pendant as a surface find on the beach. So doing well, especially on the one and two dollar coins. And that, of course, helps to boost the coffers but I'm happy to dig anything. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.